what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another reaction video almost said music uh this is going to be the second patreon video request and i was request to take a look a at a specific video uh since the individual knows that i am a fan of all things supernatural or cryptid all things spooky and weird uh they wanted me to take a look at a video that they watched that they thought that i might like enjoy and the video is called the scariest videos caught in the appalachian mountains and it's from a channel that i've done reaction content for before and that channel is called that is impossible i will leave a link in the description to that is impossible's youtube channel if you enjoy videos like this they have a metric ton of videos just like this whether you're into ghosts whether you're into the glitch in the matrix type of videos uh you know glitch in the matrix like a, a bird that's frozen in midair or you know uh, a mirror a mirror image in the sky that's unexplainable that sort of videos or maybe bigfoot or maybe even ufos and uaps i eat that stuff off for, for, for breakfast man i love stuff like that but it's been six months since i've done reaction content for it and i am very very happy and i've been looking forward to this all weekend i'm only sorry <laughs> that it it's coming almost three hours into a live stream session and my voice is shot because i was screaming at a football game just two days ago um all right that is impossible please give them a thumbs up on this video it has twenty five thousand likes and subscribe if you enjoy content like this okay uh let's go ahead and take a look at this video it's a very very long video uh it's about 40 minutes long if there is something that sticks out to me i'm gonna pause the video and talk about it all right let's go now there are many beautiful places to visit while on vacation but there's one that's been getting a lot of attention lately and in a very strange way for the past couple of years the appalachian mountain range has been trending on social media for its many mysteries such as tales of skinwalkers made it to the appalachian mountains so far no skin the mothman the rake the dogman bigfoot and the list goes on what the what's he doing but after researching a bit i found out that there's much more to it and it's actually freaky from hikers that have mysteriously vanished never to be seen again i have one floating above the mountain this is crazy i seen this I seen this clip. This clip is nuts. These giant orbs of light just blink, 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 blink. It's unreal. I think that th this clip right here, at least, it's legit. I think it's legit. They're in the. They're rising in the Unexplained air. Unexplained sightings of luminous objects and paranormal activity. This place is filled with strange tales of the unknown. Dude, they're chasing that! Lily, they're chasing that! Oh, what the f- And because of that, it's been trending quite a lot on social media. Sorry, I gotta turn on- wait, I gotta get in the atmosphere. Uh, should I turn off? The key light? Hold on. I want to get freaked out. No, I want you guys to see my face. Uh. What about this light? No, nah, I want you guys to see my face. I turned off all the backlights and the side light. All right. Set the and moon. Today, 
we're going to be taking a look at some of the creepiest and most unexplained videos caught in let me ask you guys in in chat let me ask you guys in chat dude they're chasing that lily they're chasing that Jesus. And because of that, it's been trending quite a lot on social media. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the- So I also seen this video. So apparent- Apparently, this thing- This thing is called a rake. <clears throat> you know, like a rake? R-A-K-E? A rake that you use to- you know, move leaves in your yard. I only recently discovered that these creatures were like kind of a thing. Now, I've seen maybe like three videos of something that looks like that, but I'm still not convinced because they're all IR videos or thermal videos. Of these so-called rake creatures. My personal stance on all of the. Maybe the three rake videos. This one included. I think it's CG. So unless they show a new rake video. That might change my mind. I'm just going to say this one right here. I think it's fake. The creepiest and most but it's still videos creepy. Caught in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, like, uh, in the Philippines, they have, uh, the Aswang, right? Um, there was an Aswang video that I seen a long time ago. I don't, I'm going to have to find that video. I'm being followed by something. But before we go on, let me explain why this mountain range is shrouded in mystery. Hold on, hold on. I want to turn up the volume a little bit. I really want to get freaked out. The Appalachian Mountains are one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world, with its core being formed about 1.2 billion years ago, when all of the continents were still one. They stretch from Newfoundland, Canada, to central Alabama in the US, showcasing breathtaking beauty and incredible biodiversity. But because this place is really old, older than the dinosaurs, Older than Saturn's rings and the ozone layer, many what? people believe that the region is somewhat Being haunted. Being raised in the Appalachian Mountains, I've experienced a lot of unexplainable things. And I'm not the only one. Since first inhabiting the land, the Cherokee natives talk about strange beings that roam these mountains, like the Moon-Eyed People, a race of small, pale-skinned beings who lived in the area before the Cherokees. The Cherokees tell us that when they first arrived in the Appalachian area, they found it inhabited by... Hold on. Hold on. Is this what a puckwudgie is? A puckwudgie? I heard the name puckwudgie, but I've never actually seen any content that actually shows a picture, a sketch. Of what an actual puck wudgie is. Pale skinned beings who lived in the area before the Cherokees. The Cherokees tell us that you heard first sounds of an Oswang when you was younger? They Holy found it crap. By a certain moon eyed type people who couldn't see it. And Spare Finger, a shape shift. You believe the Appalachian Mountains are among the oldest mountains on the planet? Victims. Oh, for sure. What is it? This, for instance, is a video that was recorded in the Great Smoky Mountains in 2021. At the time, Renanus 007, the person who was recording the video, was working the night shift oh, I'm as getting a security goosebumps guard already. in the Great Smoky <laughs> Mountains. When all of a sudden this happens. <laughs> it looks like a featureless humanoid figure can be seen walking towards the car. Needless to Say Ronana 007 and her buddy got the hack out of the I am gonna say 
thanks to the help of the bad quality of the video, I'm very skeptical. But there are some things that I can't explain. But this kind of looks like somebody in a ghillie suit. This looks like somebody in a ghillie suit. Needless to say, Renana 007 and her buddy got the hack out of there as fast as possible. The oh. only thing, the only thing that's making me question is, is if it's not some dude in a ghillie suit, is the video is so damn pixelated. It's so pixelated that it looks like it's blending in with the grass. It looks like, you know, Predator in Predator mode. Shong. You know, it's, it's just so pixelated, man. These types of video always has put... You said it, my man. You said it. I'm not exactly sure what it is they saw that night. It looks like a guy know, in a ghillie however, suit. Is that encounters like this one are quite common in the Appalachian Mountains. And while researching the... <clears throat> so... I'm not a believer. I am an experiencer. I've seen shadow... Shadow entities. And I've seen UAPs. That's why, that's why, even though I was skeptical and I never believed in any of those things until I witnessed something personally myself, that's when I decided to wonder what else is there that we don't know what the heck, the heck it is, you know? That's, that, that's what got me interested in the paranormal. The topic, I came across one of the most mysterious videos that was originally posted by Hellbent Holler YouTube channel. Yeah. A channel that focuses that on investigating strange phenomena and cryptids. Let's go in. What is that? That Lights in the Valley video is legit. In the winter of 2023, Jesse and her team traveled to North Carolina to investigate the centuries-old phenomenon known as the Brown Mountain Lights. Okay, so I saw this video in a different on a different channel. Watch this. Those are city lights. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is great. This is perfect for this. Yeah. <gasps> I want to go down to the platform. I'm getting that pro now, man. <laughs> oh my god, we've got one. We've got a brown mountain light. It was late at night when Jesse and her team finally captured what looked like some sort of luminous object in the woods. They were live streaming the event. Earlier, that monster with the spade shape around its head was the Flatwoods monster. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. To their YouTube very interesting. channel, so they were very excited when finally. Have you heard the name or the word Puckwudgie? And what are they? I just recently came across a uh, supernatural podcast that I've listened to for the first time this morning, and they're talking about puckwudgies being the new it cryptid. Finally, something showed up, but they had absolutely no idea what was about to happen. Check Look this at out. that! How cool is that? Yeah. We've got one. Yep. Holy moly! I'm gonna, I'm gonna live stream you here. Give me the headlamp and your phone. I'm gonna live stream you, and you can. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll go. No. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. I need to unlock the front door. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I didn't realize I was home alone. Family, <laughs> my family didn't take the keys. We only take the key. When nobody else is home. <laughs> they were like, and then texting me, can you, what are you doing? Can you open the front door? All right. All right. Let's continue. Never heard of a puck, would you? Okay. Oh my God. The brown mountain lights have been debunked. Oh, that's a bummer. God. Oh my God. This one's huge. Okay. This one's huge. All right, we're, we're live. Go ahead and say what we're doing. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to tell you guys, we are live. You mean, you, you mean this one? This one has been debunked? Oh, that's bummer, dude. From 
Uh, we are live uh, looking at the Brown Mountain Lights. We took a little trip today and we are up here at an overlook. We are looking over the Brown Mountain Ridge and Brown Mountain and I'm using... I never saw this part. I only seen... I only seen this part of the video. Is this... Is this... The same part is the same part is this? I never seen this part. I'm curious to find out if this is indeed some sort of strange phenomenon or people camping down there. They point a very strong flashlight towards it and this is what happens. Yeah, see if you could get like a response. Yeah. Whoa. Again, Whoa. Yeah. Oh my god. Whatever they did with the flashlight, it seems to have worked. So they decide to flash it once more. And this is what they call it on camera. On uh, yeah, but I can't get to it right now. What do you need? I've got one on me. Uh. Um, I don't know. I was going to try to signal and see if something would happen. See if there's like a response. Give it a shot. The picture they showed of a puck wedgie is different from what shows up when you Google. Yeah, my computer wasn't working this morning. It took me almost eight hours for it to work. So what does it look like? The whole brown mountain lights phenomenon was debunked. I was saying you, can you do it in the, uh, the spooky channel, the spooky channel, the spooky channel is one of my favorite channels in discord. Um, we do not have laser pointers. Oh my God. You got a good one. I got one. In okay. Yeah. This, this. So in a different YouTube video, this was the only vantage point I seen. I didn't see. I didn't the see air the floating. What? I have one floating above the mountain. Do you see it with your eyes? Do you see it with your eyes? It's it's red. It's one of these like balls of light. Here on over is not. Oh my god! They're just they're rising. They're in the they're rising in the air. They're just rising in the air over the mountain. I don't they're remember. Over here. Whatever these things are, they now seem to be rising towards the air. I don't the remember the video looking completely like complete and ass sure like this, though. These are not people camping or airplanes. This is something else entirely. Check this out. It looks like there's another one. You got another light in the sky? I've got one rising. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Do you see that ball of light just rising above the mountain? Jesse, there's three of them. Uh, Look at them. They're just hovering. This is the craziest thing. I didn't expect anything like this at all. It, they're just rising what in the up. Hell? That is so bizarre. The fourth one's rising up from the forest right now. You've got the two bright ones, one on top of the other. The, f the other They're like lined up. Hold it at kind of an angle. You can really see these things just rising yeah so all in this sky. all this, this i seen in I a different expected. video i expected ghost lights in the woods which we saw already this is almost like ufo like type this is crazy now the, the top one's starting to get brighter again the third one's disappeared although i think i've got a plane in the distance i've got one moving to the left one slowly moving to the right after posting the video to youtube it left the entire internet completely baffled whatever these things are it's very clear that the brown mountain lights are not just some ghostly lights in the woods. This is possibly something else. Some people believe that the brown mountain lights are actually related to extraterrestrial activity, while others state that there are underground bases hidden within the region. To like this Mount day, Shasta? no one knows what is causing this unexplained phenomenon. What is known is that it was first officially reported in the 1700s by German engineer Gerard Will de Brahm. At the time, he attributed the lies to nitrous vapors, but then people slowly realized that that wasn't it. Even after hundreds of years, people had absolutely no idea what was causing these mysterious orbs to show up. Yeah. Those aren't fact, orbs, like though. Or eight of them all lined up across here, folks. Yeah. Things got so serious that in 1922, an FBI agent known as G.E. Moore was dispatched to investigate the lights, and despite his efforts, he wasn't able to conclude anything which added even more intrigue to the mystery. Now taking into consideration that hundreds of people have seen and sometimes even photographed these mysterious orbs, 
I would say that this is possibly the real deal. Dude, they're chasing that. Lily, they're chasing that. Look how oh many. God, they are. Look how many they are. Oh my god, I'm, I'm scared. Wait. They're chasing the ball, bro. They're chasing this, bro. Look. Oh the recruits. Oh my. Wait, is this part of the same video or did they move did he move on to the next oh, clip, bro? But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is possibly related to extraterrestrial activity? Hold on. I would say that this is possibly the real deal. Dude, they're chasing that. Lily, they're chasing that. Is this part of the brown mountain lights thing? Or is this... Did, did he move on to the next phenomenon? I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Sorry. Look how many... Look how many they are! Oh my god, I'm, I'm scared. They're chasing the ball, bro. They're chasing this, bro. Look, oh the recruits. Oh my god, bro. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is possibly related to extraterrestrial activity? Or is it something else entirely? Now, when it comes to strange things in the Appalachian region... See, th this is how he normally trend, um, moves on to the next subject. Oh, that, that last bit was kind of confusing because I never seen... I never seen this part of the video. I don't know. All right. Moving on. <laughs> And there's one in particular that caught a lot of attention throughout history, and that would be the Lake Champlain monster known as Champ. Now, the story of Champ dates back to Native American folklore with the Abenaki and Iroquois tribes describing a large serpentine creature inhabiting the lake. The first recorded sighting of this mysterious creature happened in the 1600s by Samuel Champlain. Since then, there have been over 300 reported sightings of Champ, making it a very popular topic and attracting tourists and cryptozoologists alike. What is that? What is that? See it? Now, even though there are countless stories and reports of the presence of a dinosaur-like creature that inhabits the deep waters of Lake Champlain, it is officially seen as a myth, just a bad time story. But maybe it isn't. On August 4, 2022, Johnny Hoffman and his family had traveled over to Lake Champlain to stay around for a few days and enjoy their vacation home. 20 minutes after they arrived, that was so fake. The first video, Champ. And they went over to the lake to see. I the thought it was a manatee. Sky. And this is what happened. I thought it was a manatee. That first clip. I see some things of water. <laughs> Forget about that thing in the water. Dude, what is up with the uh the Darth Vader breathing into the microphone? <laughs> the frick? You, you, you hear that here watch listen there's, there's somebody wheezing into the microphone there i see some things of water oh. <laughs> Upon arriving at the lake, they're surprised by something in the distance. I'm more freaked out at the what dude at first, making Darth like Vader noises. A huge creature can be seen swimming in the lake. Completely baffled, they get their cameras and immediately begin to record. After posting the video, several internet users seem to agree that this might actually be Champ, while others state that this is possibly mm. a sturgeon. But if we zoom in and slow-mo the video, sturgeon? it becomes okay. quite clear that whatever this thing is, it's massive. So it could just be that Johnny Hoffman caught one of the best video. I was thinking a juvenile orca or something. But it doesn't stop there. A baby killer whale. Oh, 
In this next video posted by Weird Theater YouTube channel, we can see what looks like a serpent-like creature emerging from the lake. Why is the video quality ass? Whatever this thing is, this is definitely not a sturgeon. This is something else entirely. The what? An inflatable toy? While some believe that this could be just a log or maybe an animal like a deer, others state that you can clearly see the length of the animal as it approaches the shore, and that most of it seems to be underwater. In another video posted by Brian the Beast YouTube channel, we can see something similar once again in Lake Champlain. Check this out. Oh my god, why are these videos like 240p? <laughs> Come on, dude. Any I I have a $150 Chinese phone. I bought on eBay from a brand named Yumi Digi. And the 1080p signal camera, the 1080p on this camera is shit, but it's better than this Logitech C920. Come on now, man. In a more recent video posted by dmoney13 on TikTok, we can see what looks like a very long creature swimming in Lake Champlain. Watch out for those scary boat wakes. You can see reflection of shadows making it look long. Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? There's something in the back too. After posting the video, several internet users left comments stating that this is possibly a sturgeon. But once again, it looks as if it's too big to be a fish. So, what is this? Could it actually be that there's some sort of dinosaur-like creature still swimming in the deep waters of Lake Champlain? That would be fantastic. I want to know your thoughts. Fantastic. What do you really think is going on and why are there so many myths and legends of lake monsters all over the world? I thought this was a jack... Wait. What the hell is this? I see I originally thought this was a manatee, the top of a manatee. So many myths what and legends of lake monsters all over the world. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the whole lake monster thing monster thing is laughable. There are real monsters out in the ocean. Go video oh. 100%. You see, you know what I think this is? I think somebody underneath this is in a diving suit. This looks like the top of a wild boar, a pig. And then... This... Looks like alligator scales. And then AI, they they blended, they blended a pit, a, a wild boar, and an alligator, a crocodile, and all this is AI generated. You see this right here? This is an alligator, a crocodile, right here, for sure. The tail, but the entire thing was is AI generated. Why? Because why are the top of the jaws? And the bottom of the jaws where the teeth are, are blurred. All over the world. I think this is an AI created image. Splicing animals. And I don't know what the heck this thing is right here. Being a vast area with large portions of dense, remote forests, the Appalachian Mountains provides the perfect cover for a serial killer or an ill-intentioned person. Sounds. <laughs> if you can look up, if you can look up a video similar to this one, not from this channel, that a random one, even if it's not good, I'm down to check it out. 
I want to react to another video. Person to lurk in the shadows. The rugged terrain, isolated trails, and limited cell phone reception can actually make it easy for such individuals to evade any type of. If you can't, if you can't, then you don't have to. If you can't, you don't. If you can't, you, you don't have to. Detection. And I guess that this is sort of what happened to Katie Reminter while she was staying at a lodge with her family in Greenville, Maine. Now, Greenville is a very small town with a population of about 2,000 people. Maine? Maine? What's the big... What's the big urban legend in, in that state? Oh. And it's only a 24 mile distance walk from the Appalachian Trail, which makes Greenville the perfect stop for hikers. I'm hiking. I swear somebody's following me. I could hear them like right behind me, but every time I look back, there's nobody there. Explore. Huh? What? I will kill again. That what was the? Not there last night. No, that was there last night. It was a very cold night, and Katie and her family were having dinner with a couple of friends at a nearby restaurant. When all of a sudden, Katie notices a man standing outside and staring and nodding at her. Pretty much kept all the stuff. I think Bigfoot is really the only thing that might and be after viable. After dinner, they went back to the lodge. And while tucking the kids to bed, she starts hearing someone pacing back and forth just outside their room. Completely freaked out, she checks the window. And this is what she sees. Wait, hold on. Point of view, you're one of two guests staying in a lodge in rural Maine, and you see this staring into your room from an empty field in the dead of night. Okay. In the video, the figure of a creepy man can be seen approaching Katie's lodge. He then proceeds to stop and just stand there, staring at her window. And at this moment, Katie realizes that this is the same man from the restaurant. Not knowing exactly how to proceed and what to do. Now that's scary. Stalkers. Stalkers are real scary. Okay. The first legitimate one. Creepy guy. Do next. Katie stays there, quiet, observing the man's every movement. It didn't be take long before Katie and her husband realized I'd be tripping that they would balls have to call if he starts levitating so or he vanishes in midair or whatever. And this is what happens. The lodge owner and the police promptly show up and talk to the man. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. What, homeboy was like stuck in a trance? Staring at their window? It didn't take long before Katie and her husband realized that they would have to call the cops. So they call the lodge owner, who actually calls the cops, and this is what happens. Oh, especially if you got kids, bro. That that is that is creepy as f, dude. And he starts moving as the light shine on him. The lodge owner. You know what? Nothing supernatural, but I think this is the scariest thing right here. Imagine, imagine you and and your wife, and you got young kids. You go to a motel in the middle of nowhere. 
obviously it looks cold and snowy outside and you got a dude all dressed in black just standing still like slender man looking at your window doesn't move an inch until a, a beam of a light from a car comes and and some dude comes and walks up to him that is creepy owner and the police promptly show up and talk to the man who states that he's actually staying in the lodge next door after coming to the conclusion that he wasn't doing anything wrong they leave and the man just continues there, staring at Katie's lodge. At this point, you can- I'm sorry, bro, but that is creepy, though. That is sus. That is super sus as hell, bro. Holy crap, dude. Man, he could have- he could have- he could be carrying a knife or something, dude. Oh, man, yeah. This is, I would be scared of this. I mean, I will go out there and ramble, rush the hell out of them, but that's just me. Can't imagine how freaked out Katie and her family were, but not yeah. knowing exactly what to do next, they stay there for the night. The next day, they call the police and find out that the man actually told them that he was a schizophrenic. Now, even if this is the case, I wonder what would have happened to Katie and her family if they of hadn't course. called the cops. Not of only course. that, when the police arrives, he changes his behavior completely, as if he knows it. Reality is often sc Thank you. Yep, you, you definitely said it. <laughs> Reality is definitely scarier than fiction. Exactly what he's doing. So I'm not exactly sure if he was telling the truth entirely. But when it comes to strange encounters in the Appalachian Mountains, it doesn't stop there. The following video takes place in Dudley Town, Connecticut, just a few Jeez. miles away from the Appalachian Trail. It was on June 17, 2006, that a family that lived near Chase Avenue started noticing strange patterns of shadow figures lurking. Isn't there a band called Chase Avenue? King in the woods behind their property. Thinking that this could be a burglar or a person with bad intentions, they tried to capture it on camera several times without any success. But on one cloudy afternoon, this happened. I don't see nothing. Hi, it's me again. I'm just calling um, just to let you know. I've seen that thing again. I'm in the backyard. I've got the camera on. Where is it? Um, I'm trying to capture it. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to see if I can get it. Anyway, give me a call when you get this message. Again, why is this thing like 260p, man? After leaving an eerie voice message at his wife's cell phone, he runs downstairs to get a better angle of the woods behind his property. And this is what happens. What? I don't see... I don't see anything. No. Oh, what is that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now this does not look like somebody in a ghillie suit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad there was a circle around. Hold on. No. What is that? You can see right through no. that thing. Wait. What the frick? What the f is that? Yeah, it's me. I've just seen that thing. I've got I've actually got it on camera. I'll show you when you get home. Give Did you see that? 
What actually looks like some sort of translucent shadow figure can be seen crossing the woods behind their property. It doesn't look humanoid. Whatever this thing is, it left the property owner completely baffled. After being posted to YouTube, many internet users seem to agree that this is the real deal. Not only that, it seems that Dudley Town is actually surrounded by strange stories of paranormal events and mysterious and unexplained deaths and murders that supposedly took place in this very small town close to the Appalachian. Okay, you, you take this big tree right here. That's gotta be what? 12? Anywhere between 12 to 24 inches thick? But this thing was like... Actually surrounded by strange stories of paranormal events. This thing events had like a really and wide and unexplained gate. deaths and murders that, that supposedly took place. So, from here all the way to here. From here all the way to here, it's a really wide gate. Whatever that shadow thing is, it's freaking huge. Place in this very uh, small town close to the Appalachian Trail. Now, even though this isn't the highest quality video ever, if we yeah. slow mo and zoom in on the video, you can clearly see what looks like a translucent figure walking in the woods. And it's could massive. Could it actually be that this is a legit shadow person caught on camera? And could this video help prove that the Appalachian Mountains? Oh, wait a minute. I think I see, like, two legs. Could it actually be that this is a legit shadow person caught on camera? <gasps> right here. Right here. One leg. Two leg. And could this video help prove that the Appalachian Mountains are indeed haunted like many believe? What's your take? Oh, you can even see it right here. Right here. Like... Whatever it is, you can see legs, like, right here on the root of the tree. Watch this part right here. Chin Mountains are indeed haunted, right there. like many believe. Right there. What's your take? Okay, I mean, I'm scratching my head, I, I don't... Now, if there's one interesting place to visit in the Appalachian pretty... region, that would be the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It attracts over 12 million visitors every year, making one of the most visited national parks in the United States. Today brings us to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and we're going on a bit of a hike. Renowned for its stunning natural beauty and biodiversity, the park offers several tourist attractions, including Klingman's Dome, the highest point in Tennessee. Oh, wow. On April 30th, 2011, a group of people were That's hiking cool. at Klingman's Dome. It was a very cold day, weather conditions weren't the best, when all of a sudden they spot what at first looks like a bear. But then, this thing stands upright and they slowly realize that this isn't a bear, this is something else. They get their cameras and immediately begin to record what was about to become one of the most viral videos when it comes to Bigfoot. Check this out. I ain't never seen this. Oh my god, why is it so blurry? What looks like a tall, furry, humanoid creature can be seen in the distance, and at first I thought it could be a bear. But when it stands up and starts walking, we can see its elongated legs. In other words, this is not a bear. This is something else entirely. After being posted, the video left the internet divided. While some believe that this is possibly just a person wearing a suit, others Holy think that this is- Holy crap, 11 years ago? How come I never seen this until now? No wonder the video is in shitty quality.
And how much you want to bet that this might not even be a post from this year or last year or the year before. It could be way past 11 years ago. Jeez. I got excited there for a little bit. Wearing a suit, others think that this is the real deal and that Bigfoot actually looks massive under the trees. One user states, just use size comparison with the people in the foreground. It has to be at least nine feet tall, maybe more. Yeah, but look how shitty quality the video is, the man. Unfortunately, the video is very short, but I do have to agree that whatever this creature... No wild creature would stick around now. <laughs> yeah. It is. It Jeez. looks massive. And I'm not exactly I think sure... I think even you got a little kid. Oh my god, it's Bigfoot. This is a person in a suit. But when it comes to Bigfoot mm -hmm. sightings in the Appalachian Mountains, it doesn't stop there. What is the hell is that? It's close. That's got me nervous. Let's go to the cabin. It was a sunny afternoon in Lake Sisladopsis, a very remote and rural part of the state of Maine. CZU and Kut and his buddy had been driving around for the past couple of hours and they were having a really good time. They were talking to each other, that sort of thing. This is when all of a sudden this happens. Guys on uh, talk shows and everything. When they had to like look up their record, they had all these felonies like in process so they couldn't actually do it. Oh, is it gonna cross right in front of them? It's the only disease where you get to drink all the time. <laughs> it says, you go to a bar, you meet a girl who's got the same disease as you do. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, hold on, I gotta mute this, uh, 0.25 speed. Oh, that thing is sprinting. Yo. They're having a conversation and the dude in the passenger seat just kind of like goes like this towards the driver's side. And captures then a ragged, uh, a, a sprinting orangutan. Okay, the red arrow is going to point. Right? There. So I don't see anything here. So so I'm not I'm I'm not seeing anything here in the windshield because it's too dirty. I'm watching like right here. I'm watching right here. Bam. So the red the red arrow's pointing here, but I can already see the leg over here behind this tree. Bam. It's right here now. Bam. Had this video been in 4K, dude, we would have Put the baby to bed. Okay. Uh. Let's see what they have to say. 
<laughs> and uh, it's got a talk show, I guess, now, uh, a new talk show. Yeah. Did you see that? Well, at the time, they didn't. It was only after they posted a video to YouTube that many subscribers started pointing out that they apparently caught some sort of humanoid creature in the distance. If we okay, one point. The driver didn't see it. Two points. The dude shooting the video didn't see it. But then again... The quality is so bad, depending on what year this was in, you know, anybody can use CG and AI these days, jeez. If we slow-mo and replay the video a couple of times, you'll see that this actually looks as if it could be Bigfoot or some sort of furry humanoid creature. Whilst what the frick is that? Chat GPT. <laughs> what is this? Is this a Pukwudgie? <laughs> Guys, this is a Pukwudgie. <laughs> Seriously, what is this? Oh, Chat GPT, you got me. Some believe that this is possibly staged. Others think that this is the real deal. Very similar to the Patterson film. Now, being that they only captured a very quick... The Patterson-Gimlin film is fake. It's fake. I thought we were past this, people. ...glimpse of this mysterious creature, it becomes quite difficult... ...firm if this is indeed Bigfoot. It could be something else. What I do know, however, is that coming face to face with an unexplained situation in the Appalachian Mountains is quite common. This is sort of what happened with Reddit user Phantom88999. On one certain night, his father noticed something odd in the CCTV camera installed just outside. I wonder how much they paid to rent that suit. Inside <laughs> of his workshop, and this is what he saw. What in the Did Monsters Inc. is that? Whatever this thing is, it left the entire Reddit community completely baffled. Some believe that this is a person walking its dog and that this is a camera glitch or artifact. Others state that they can see what looks like two different ape-like creatures walking together. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is a camera glitch or some sort of ape-like creature. What I do know, however, is that it looks as if it's translucent and walking on its knuckles. Very similar to the mysterious looks shadow like figure that was captured on camera in the state of Maine. Could it actually be that Phantom 88 captured video evidence of the existence of skinwalkers in the Appalachian Mountains? This is the, this is the rake video that I was talking about. At the beginning of the reaction. I have yet to see the so-called rake be outside of the video that A uses uh, uh, infrared or night vision. Or from a first person point of view, not a stationary camera. That is very easily to, you know doctor and put hoaxes in now from the untrained eye this looks super creepy as f right but i think this is cg another i think this is cg In Navajo culture, skinwalkers are believed to be e Oh, shoot. Normally, normally the clip that I saw in another video ends right here. I didn't know that there, there was more to this. In Navajo culture, skinwalker... Oh, you got two beady, beady eyes, man. 
I still say it's CG. are believed to be evil witches that can you also shape think the rake vid is CG? Animals. We're frozen here. Because that doesn't sound like coyotes. <laughs> um. They got something. Are they getting closer, Joy? Those are wolves. No. No. Those are wolves. I'm betting they're wolves. A biker just went that way, and the sound got worse. It's also common knowledge that skinwalkers sometimes mimic people's voices to lure them in into the woods. I just wanted to show you guys my cool base that I made a while ago. Now this thing, I don't know what it is. Well, that stinks. But yeah, we got some chairs. What was that? Is that a cow? What is that? Oh, freak! <laughs> oh, shit! And this is sort of what happens in this next video posted by TikTok user Creed4. Oh my god, it's so- hiking on a trail somewhere in- What? It's so freaking grainy, man. Oh, freak! Is that a cow? What is that? Oh, freak! <laughs> I know what it is. I'll show you guys what it is. One second. It's this. Zio go Zio. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I digress. It looks like SCP-096. And this is sort of what happens in this next video posted by TikTok. It's a dude in a putty costume. User Creed 4. He was hiking on a trail somewhere in Maryland when all of a sudden this happens. Ding, 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 ding. Creed Ford notices a bunny oddly standing still, not moving at all. This is when all of a sudden the woods goes entirely silent, and this happens. Not seeing anyone or anything around that could explain the ghostly voice, Creed 4 gets the heck out of there as fast as possible. And even though this could be something other than a skinwalker, there are loads of reports of people who actually get to witness this kind of phenomenon in the Appalachian Mountains. That was kind of weird, not gonna which lie. Which is exactly the case with Morgan Lambert, 
who was going for a walk with her husband on a sunny afternoon when all of a sudden this happens. Jesus. My husband heard my own voice coming from the tree line while we were out and about. I decided to film to make a goofy video for you guys as a break from the spooky, but the camera caught the voice that I couldn't hear. It sounds almost just like me. I can't really make out what it's saying. I hear baby, but I can't tell the rest. <laughs> Do it with me. We're on an adventure. <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds we're gonna check it instead of my dad oh god i'm freezing it's cold isn't it? pretty oh god what i'm a spell what did you say oh god Oh god, because I... No, I really did. Oh, dude. <laughs> Baby. Baby. <laughs> oh god. What? I'm a spell. What did you say? Now? I said, oh god. Hey. What? Sure. Hey. Baby. I just said, oh God, because I, yeah, no, I really did. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? We, uh, I didn't hear anything. I, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, I think we, we gotta go. It's, hey, don't run. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, I don't hear. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's are, okay. Are you messing with me right now? Yeah, it's it, it's 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 not a whisper. It's like somebody yelling, yelling from far away. Yeah, that. I mean, it's 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 a bit unnerving for sure. It's okay. It's okay. It's are, okay. Are you messing with me right now? Yeah, no, I don't hear anything. What do you hear? You don't hear that right now. I'm just... When Morgan I'm just listening to this part. That whatever's calling him out isn't her. He freaks out. The next day, it continues on happening and Morgan is actually able to capture it on camera. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think that is one of the creepiest. Dad, did you leave the Alexa on? You took it with you in the car? Okay, then. things that I have ever caught on camera and that I have ever experienced in my life. Creepy, isn't it? But if this is the real deal or not, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Again, depending on the year, they might have smart devices. You know? If she's a tick, if she's a TikToker, then it's sus. You. What I do know, however, is that there are countless videos of people in the Appalachian Mountains witnessing something similar and also reports of people who go hiking and tell stories of ghostly voices calling oh my god, out I want to watch another Has video anything like this, this ever happened so bad. to you? And what do you think it could be? I don't lie, this one is kind of a letdown outside of that uh, schizophrenic dude. Now just imagine the following situation. You're with your friends or family in the middle of the woods in the Appalachian Mountains. It's almost nighttime and all of a sudden you start hearing this alien-like sound that appears to be coming from the sky. You try to find an explanation but then you remember you're in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, 
in the Appalachian region. Sounds like something coming from out of a Stranger Things episode, doesn't it? This is exactly the case with this next video that you're about to Such watch. a good show. What the heck is that? What in the heck? Maybe you should go upstairs and check your grandson and see if he's playing with your Betamax tapes with his weird Al Yankovic collection that has a voice modulator thingy. Creepy, isn't it? After being posted, mm. several internet users left comments stating that this is possibly a skinwalker or some sort of animal, while others believe that this is possibly staged or- It's some dude! It's some- <sighs> It sounds like a big, a big uh, party speaker with the bass cranked to a hundred, and some dude with uh, one of those uh, DJ touchpads, what do you call them, ATEM? The, the one that you can program synthesize sounds? What do you call them? ATAM or whatever? I don't know, man. Or faked. <laughs> Sounds like a Bluetooth speaker playing sounds to me. <laughs> or that too. Now what I find interesting about this video is that the sound appears to be metallic and somewhat echoing through the sky. Which means that this is not a skinwalker, this is most likely something else. While researching the topic, I came across other videos that suggest that this is possibly the real deal. Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. This for instance is a video coming in from Dario Betty and a couple of friends of theirs while they were staying at an Airbnb in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. Who said aliens, bro? I said aliens. <laughs> I think it's a train. It's because when I see a verga. But that's just scary. Okay, do you guys want to go inside? No, no. Stop. <laughs> I'm recording this shit. What sounds like a train passing through a tunnel can be heard in the distance. The only problem is, there's nothing nearby that could explain uh, this mysterious I don't know, sound. honestly, I don't know what a train sounds like. I live in Hawaii. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> but it gets even stranger in this next video posted by Dylan we don't have in trains. North Carolina. Check this out. So I've seen clips, but um, they they call it a uh, they call it sky horns, sky horns or something. But the only video clips I've seen with sounds that are similar to this were all in like the Middle East, and only in the Middle East. Only like. Go look up sky sirens or, or sky sky horns or something, right? And in every video, it'll be somewhere in the Middle East or somewhere in like North, uh, North East Europe.
This would be different though. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. If it's coming through speakers and it's that loud, right? This person holding the camera, he doesn't turn the camera back towards his house or behind him. That means if the sound gets louder, that means it's coming from inside the house, obviously, right? But if it's an actual phenomena, you gotta, if anybody has been near a top fuel funny car or an, or, or one of those big, long NHRA dragsters, right? Those ones with the big, the big race cars with the big motors, those things vibrate. The air vibrates. It's so loud. And when they're going full speed. It creates this concu this sonic wave, this concussive force that it feels like your soul is being ripped out of your body. Your bones are rattling inside, right? It feels like the weight of the world is bearing down on you. Okay? Now, if, you, if there is an actual sound phenomenon like that, there would have to be some sort of concussive force. Like, for instance, the trees would be moving leaves would be shaking or at least pitter pattering and falling all over the place right if it was real do you think there would be more people reporting it as well that's why like sounds like this i would only see like clips of it being in in like some place in the middle east not in the Appalachian Mountains. That's why it's kind of like, kind of weird. In this particular video, we can hear the same metallic sounds that we hear in the first video by Frisson in 67. Whatever's going on here, this could be a phenomenon coined as a skyquake, which is a phenomenon where a loud banging sound is reported to originate from the sky. Theories about its origin Sky range horns, from secretive Skyquake. underground constructions to the Earth's crust moving or even extraterrestrial activity. However, mm. to this day, this mysterious phenomenon remains a complete mystery. I don't know why I said Skyhorn. Not Skyquake. taking into consideration all of the strange phenomenon in this region, the brow mountain lights, skinwalkers, ghosts, and the list goes on. I would say that there's possibly something there, maybe even hiding underground. But I want to know your thoughts. Have you ever yes it's a schizophrenic dude standing outside your motel room like a stone statue and doesn't move until somebody walks up to him oh never heard anything similar and what do you really think is going on here So taking all of this into consideration what makes the Appalachian Mountains a hot spot for I gotta see phenomenon? more man could it be because it's one of the oldest mountain ranges on the planet, older than the ozone layer? Or what is it the something heck? else entirely? And have you ever experienced anything like this in the Appalachian region yourself? The third one's disappeared? Well, I'm still laughing at this. It kind of looks like a chicken with a human face. It looks like a chicken with a human face. I'm being honest. It looks like a chicken with a human face. It's a gl I think it's a glitch, but it still looks like a chicken with a human face. Yourself. The third one's disappeared. Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check him out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. All right, guys. Uh, once again, that is impossible. I think this is like the fourth video I've uh, reacted to from this channel. Please hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and give them subscribe if you enjoy content like this. There was only one really scary thing and it's an actual human being <laughs> that I found really creepy and scary. The rest were kind of like very suspicious. Um, 
you, the other videos, not this video, the scariest videos caught in the Appalachian Mountains, but there's a video like, uh, like, um, there's several videos where it's a break in a matrix, right? There's like a mirror, there's like a city in the sky, or there's a plane frozen in midair, or a bird frozen in midair, but then you see other birds flying in the background around it. Um, you know, a, a person, a, a person that's in the parking lot that's just frozen, and people are just walking by this person. They're they're like they're like walking by and staring at the person, and then they just keep going on their merry way. And then after like five minutes later, the person just moves and goes on about their business. So those are the videos that I reacted to. On I think you can find them. You're gonna have to go way back. I don't remember what those videos are, but um, this one is probably very disappointing. Maybe maybe I kind of like I was looking I was maybe looking forward to this <laughs> too much um it's because i haven't done a video reaction like this in, in over uh half a year but i want to do more more like the like this man i want something like you see this guy right here casper site ladies and gentlemen this guy right here this guy's my favorite paranormal channel on youtube but I don't want to do reaction videos to my favorite paranormal channel. I look up to this guy. I watch all his videos. Um, but anyway, I will leave a link in the description to this video. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you find this um, uh, entertaining, like I did uh, at the very least, um, consider uh, giving That Is Impossible a subscribe just so that they know that I'm not mooching off the, you know, somebody else's content. I, I'd like to think that we actually gave this some, you know, some commentary, you know, and not just watching a video that somebody else made. Um, but yeah, like there, there was like a, um, the sea creature stuff. The, uh, where it looked like, <laughs> it looked like a pig being fused to a crocodile AI or some sort of uh, project and somebody wanted to make like a Hollywood horror uh, prop that was being con you know m remote controlled by something under the water uh, the Bigfoot stuff was probably like the second most impressive thing like I said, if it wasn't for the quality of the video, I will always be skeptical due to the quality of the video, right? We should have been having clear pictures of things as early as 2015. But it seems like even in 2024, if you guys remember uh, a few months back, Miami had this massive event where they said there was big... 12 foot tall shadow alien people coming out of a portal and then you guys seen i'm pretty sure you guys seen all these videos on on youtube and tiktok and instagram where there was like 50 million police vehicles surrounding an entire uh uh you know what uh let me see Let me see. Yeah, so the, the, right here, this, okay, this and thing. And now to our number one trending story on CBSMiami.com. It involves talk of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. On New Year's Day, there was a massive police... Look how, look how many cops. Look how many cops showed up to this mall in Florida.
response Look. in downtown Miami. More than 50 young people armed with sticks began fighting. Police say juveniles were also setting off fireworks causing chaos. So now people are posting online saying that police weren't there to <laughs> handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to 10 feet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is. This is not a shadow entity. This is not a 12 foot tall alien. We all would know what it is. Again. We're in a day and age where everybody has iPhone 13, 14, 15, or Samsung phones, whatever generation, Galaxy. And you get this potato video quality tall and we can't tell what it is all we can see is cars with blue and red lights conspiracy theories are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area bayside today the phrases miami mall and aliens of miami have been among the top 10 searches on twitter's trending tab twitter of course now called x and google news even has several reports questioning the event so we reached out to the miami police department they issued a statement saying in part quote there were no aliens ufos or ets no airports were closed no power outages uh facepalm emoji was included in the statement and to read <laughs> up on the story that has gone viral just head to our website at cbsmiami.com yeah yeah there there's like a. Uh... There's like a lot of people that was posting videos like they actually showed video that they were at the mall uh that there was a portal opening up inside of the shopping mall and then there was gunshots and everybody started running and there was like electricity coming out in the middle of a portal and then they seen like these sh tall shadow creatures on the buildings and stuff I'm, I'm like okay hold on hold up so i'm thinking okay but why are there more than 100 police vehicles the one thing a whole bunch of teenagers shooting off fireworks at a mall for me personally does not constitute of sending an entire armada of police vehicles unless it was some sort of T attack I don't want to see the T word because you know demonetization but you know, unless it's that being reported in, then yeah, I could see that many police cars. Um, gunshots? Gunshots, I would see like maybe 20, 30 police cars, maybe even SWAT vehicles, but not 150 to 200 cars, okay? There's other videos out there that showed police cars going all the way up, like one mile all the way up the Miami Strip, dude. got me thinking that's a lot of cops for a prank a fireworks prank so i don't believe there was an alien event that happened there but something doesn't fit <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's weird uh the many people that claim that they've been there have like so many different stories right they said oh like uh there was there was a a large gang fight there was guns involved and then uh there was other people saying oh no it was uh fireworks and then weird lights in the sky the power went out and then they saw big alien people walking i'm like what the what is going on? 
So, yeah, take what you want. But the point I'm trying to say is... Why... In 2024... February, January, February, March, whenever this happened this year. You're in a high-rise hotel building in Miami Beach. And you upload a 240p video. Oh, man response in downtown Miami more Look. than 50 young people armed with sticks began fighting they just showed a small section of this highway the police vehicle goes all the way up into the horizon the horizon the farthest distance the human eye can see dude there's plenty of video <laughs> videos but they're all shit quality like this, man. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, mm, you, you, you claim like th there's a, also setting off fireworks, causing chaos. There's this there to handle. There's this big grayish white thing that looks like doing that Vince McMahon strut going down there, down to the ring. It could be a cosplayer wearing an inflated suit. We can't tell because the quality is crap, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, 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 let me see. Where is the body cam? FOIA request or thing? Yeah, exactly. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The police refuse to release the uh the body cam footage of any of the officers that were that were called to the scene there that's why i'm saying like something is weird unless of a big t attack at that shopping mall you don't send police vehicles from precincts outside of Miami, from everywhere around Florida, to that one shopping mall. You know? Not unless you got, like, that CTU word, like, hey, we got intel. We're going to send everybody. And the kitchen sink. So, this is one thing where it's kind of like, there's no conclusive, <laughs> there's no conclusive, uh, definitive, rock solid story. You know? The police are saying there's no aliens. <laughs> A lot of people saying there was some weird stuff going on. So... Without clear video, nobody has clear video of what this thing is. And there's cops. This Whatever that thing is, is walking right in front of a whole bunch of cop cars. I'm just saying. I'm just saying my $150 Chinese phone from eBay can definitely shoot better video than that. Anyway, I'm Spicy Ben TV. This has been a very exhausting 4 hour and 15 minute live stream. Uh, I've talked a lot. And um, yeah, I'm going to be chopping up all of these video reactions into their own separate videos over the next week. Uh, so please be sure to check it out. I will also post this entire stream on my second YouTube channel where I store all of my Twitch VODs. Uh, so it should go up in about 5, 6, 7 days from now. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'm just going to take some time to hang out with the people here in the live chat if they're still here. But other than that, I'm cutting this uh, video reaction. Again, please go ahead and give a follow to That Is Impossible if you are entertained and you like uh, creepy, weird content like this. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.
See you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.